Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to City Skylines Xbox One Edition. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back in the city of Nerdsdale, where things are going pretty darn well indeed. We're making $1,290 per hour, and I'm quite happy about that. A couple of you, a couple of you have been asking why I care about the budget when I have unlimited money. Uh, the reason for that is because I don't want unlimited money for the sake of just making things super, super easy. I do still want a challenge, and my challenge is to make sure the budget is still okay. Because if it's not okay, then I could just go build an entire city in five minutes, and we'd be done here. So I do want to keep the budget balanced. I do want to keep the demand balanced. I want to keep everything balanced, because I still want a degree of challenge. I just don't really want to run around going, oh, we're out of money, let's wait 20 minutes for me to get some money. Especially since this game doesn't actually have any way to uh, go ahead and increase the speed of the simulation. I don't really feel like sitting around and waiting for uh, everything to happen, so that's pretty much the reason that uh, unlimited money is where it is, and that's the reason that I am quite keen for uh, a nice balanced budget. So let's go ahead and uh, extend this way just a little bit. I figure we'll go ahead and begin today by getting some more housing into the city and into Walnut Hills there. And while I'm doing that, I guess I'll take a moment to explain why there wasn't an episode uh, yesterday. If you're watching this the day it goes out, it's Sunday the 23rd of April. Uh, there wasn't an episode on Saturday the 22nd, even though I think I said there would be. Uh, basically, I was both super busy super lazy, and I also slept, didn't get out of bed until like 2 p.m., so I had planned on getting up super early to record the episodes for that day. Uh, that didn't wind up happening. Again, multiple reasons. Super busy, I was doing a bunch of different things business-related. Uh, super lazy, I also spent the day playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and also lazy in the sense I didn't go to bed until 2 p.m., so... I do apologize. I uh, I don't intend to make a habit of it, but uh, I play video games for a living, so getting out of I, I can get out of bed at any time and go do my job. And some mornings, bed's more comfortable than it should be. Seriously, do you ever have mornings like that? <laughs> there's there's a question of the day. I mean, I don't know why I'm asking. Do you ever have mornings where you don't want to get out of bed? Because I feel like everyone does. Uh, the point is, I had a morning where I was like, you know what? I don't really feel like getting out of bed. Uh, anyway, what I'm doing at the moment is just trying to uh, roughly continue the pattern that we have going through the city here. I'm just sort of wanting this is a, this is weirdly sized. Why is that? Is that a different size over here? I think it might be. Yeah, it totally is. What if I? Have I me I've measured something wrong somewhere. I've absolutely measured something wrong somewhere. I'm not quite sure where that somewhere is, but I've done it somewhere. And it's really weird. Uh, now, let's see. I'm thinking of bringing a one-way road up here and a one-way road down here. Definitely thinking that's an option, but uh, I think I'll leave this as is. I think I'll leave it as is, and we'll go ahead and get more... Uh, we'll get water underneath all of the roads first. And uh, then we'll add in the zoning. And actually, speaking of questions of the day, uh, it's not usually something I do, by the way. I don't usually go, hey, let's have a question for this video. Uh, but City Skylines Xbox One Edition has now been out for a couple of days. Uh, so how many of you bought it, I guess, is something I'm actually very curious about. How many of you bought the game and... What have you done with it? What do you think of it? Because I can, at this point, actually talk about what I think of the game. And um, a lot of people have been saying, you know, why are you playing this in console? Or some people are like, oh, you are clearly paid to play this. If I was paid to play City Skylines, that would be a like a dream come true. Uh, but no, I wasn't paid to play this. The most I got was a free copy of the game. Uh, but that wasn't strictly under the condition that I make a bunch of videos of it. Uh, I was given a free copy of the game, and I actually happened to enjoy City Skylines, even though I did take time off from it. I know it's really hard to believe that someone might just happen to enjoy a video game, uh, but yeah, I just happened to 
really like City Skylines, and I think it's great that it's on a console because that means more people can enjoy it. So yeah, I think my biggest cr uh, criticism would be the lack of uh, time controls, but I know why that is. It's because the Xbox One hardware would uh, would struggle a bit. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what I think of it. It's still City Skylines, it's just a bit slower. Now let's go ahead and get some of that zoning just in that corner there. I don't know, I don't know really what to do with this corner over here. I mean, we have got some unique buildings in here. We can't actually get them currently. For example, we need uh, we need more garbage piling up per building for the Mall of Moderation. Uh, can we get like? I don't really want the Statue of Liberty. I'd like something that looked like a city hall. What is this? Amsterdam Palace, 600 city service buildings. Good lord. Uh, that is a cathedral. 2,000 abandoned buildings. That is city hall. Public transport has 3,000 weekly passengers. Oh, we're totally getting public transport today, aren't we? Oh, we absolutely are. Oh, no, that makes me happy. That makes me very, very happy indeed. I am quite looking forward to getting some public transport in here. Uh, garbage looks like it's doing okay. Landfill usage is about 8%. When is it we get the incineration plants? 7,500 people. Oh boy, that's a lot of people. Uh, we're going to be waiting a little while for that one. Here's another question. Did we... Oh, we did buy this area up here. Oh yeah, I was totally planning on running a highway straight through there, wasn't I? That was my plan. Uh, we don't yet have any clean ways of getting rid of, well, not clean ways of getting rid of waste, but I'm thinking I'm gonna move the outflow pipes to right, right to the edge here. Just something like that. We'll connect them up like that and run a pipe to about there. Then I do wanna bulldoze these because I do want the sewage outflow to be a little bit further away. How do I bulldoze this? How am I, how am I gonna... Okay. Um... Oh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, I wanna destroy that. I wanna pause the game while I do this as well, because we don't actually have any power for those things currently, so that's gonna cause a couple of problems. Uh, we'll throw that just there. And we should be good. So someone's tweeting, I can already see more birds and plants in the city thanks to the use of green energy. Uh, yeah, that green energy was always there. Uh, it's just powering something that's absolutely killing every fish that's in this river. <laughs> oh, God. This river is going to be really heavily polluted. Really, really heavily polluted. Uh, so how are we doing? 2,333 uh, people. Uh, we're getting there. I should probably go ahead and expand the district as well. Walnut Hills. I think what I'll do is Walnut Hills can go to there like this I think I might make those bits at the end here all commercial maybe I'll try and make that upper area of the city strictly commercial and nothing else could be an idea definitely tempted uh, so let's get rid of that little bit and let's just fill all of that in so that's all gonna be Walnut Hills but yeah I'm thinking this whole area up here could be commercial it can be its own district Whatever it might be called. Uh, so, just extend down there. Extend all. Oh god, this is a, it's a little tricky doing the district thing because your controller just slightly goes off the roads from time to time. But we're getting there. Uh, what's this going to be called? Foggy Heights. Okay. Uh, well, fair enough. I mean, I guess part of the district's in a hill, so or on a hill. Uh, so Foggy Heights is probably fair. We could go with a couple of districts. Maybe that's maybe this side's Foggy Heights. This side's Smoggy heights or something. Oh god, I can't say the word smog with like getting angry. And this is a, again, again, tangents are kind of my thing. Uh, if you are, you know, recent to the channel, get used to it. Uh, if you're not, then you should be used to it. But yeah, I get unnecessarily angry at the word smog. And it's for the simple reason that when the second Hobbit movie was coming out, the the dra the dragon in the Hobbit, voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, is called Smaug, S M A U G. The movie was called The Desolation of Smaug. Yet a lot of people. Oh, hello. Hold on a minute. We're a boom time. We have transport. That makes me very happy. So. We're gonna have to do some stuff with that. Uh, yeah, the movie was called The Desolation of Smaug. Uh, yet, 
the amount of people, mostly with Northern Irish accents, I will admit, uh, but the amount of people that were like, oh, it's called the uh, Desolation of Smog. Uh, no, it's not. No, it most certainly is not. That's the least appealing... That is the least appealing title for a movie I've ever heard. Oh, the desolation of smog. It, it's not, it's, it's just, it was just, it was painful to hear that mis, mispronunciation. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It was not, it's not a pleasant word. And when it's clearly smog, not smog, I just, I just, just stop, just take a minute and think about what you're saying. That's, that's. That's all I wanted them to do. Anyway, I'm having some issues with this particular bit of uh, district zoning. You're going to have to forgive me. It's taking a little bit longer to do this than I wanted it to. But hey, you know, story time and all that. Oh, God, you know what? I don't care. That's going to hurt. Oh, that's awful to look at. That's going to have to do, though. That is going to have to do. We have a couple of abandoned buildings. Now, that's a problem. Um... Oh, we have one abandoned building. I'm not a big fan of abandoned buildings. Not at all happy to see that. Uh, but let's go ahead and just dezone that area and uh, replace it with commercial zoning. So just all of that. Uh, so Foggy Heights is just going to... Th I do think just filling all of this with uh, commercial zoning could be a good idea. I know we don't need that much commercial zoning right now. But when we do happen to need it, I'd like it to be there. Uh, so... Yeah, let's let's give this a shot and see if we can uh, if we can make this work. I mean, a lot of this will be bulldozed at some point in favor of a bloody big highway that's going through here. But for the time being, it's probably fine. So we'll get all that in there. Uh, we'll get all of um, all of that in there. And then over here, we can do more industrial zoning because there is a little bit of demand for it. There is still some space for it down here as well. But I think we will just go ahead and say, hey, have a bunch of uh, industrial zoning in there. And I'm liking the look of it. Yes, it's a big square. I know that someone's going to be like, yo, you've had four episodes and you've built a big square. I know. I know that's all we've done, but I like this. I'm, You know what? I'm actually really enjoying the slower pace. To be honest, like to be completely honest, I'm at the point, like I said, I'm at the point where I can talk and give you a review of this game and all that. I like the slower pace. That's not to say that when mass transit comes out, I'm going to go with the slower pace, but I like it. I really do. It, it kind of gives me this moment to sit back and look at me sitting and go, eh, what can I tweak? What can I do? And uh, I'm definitely thinking I want to just get rid of this bit over here. Because the fact I couldn't connect those roads up kind of annoyed me. Uh, I am also thinking that I might very well go ahead and move the Statue of Wealth. Uh, because I'd like to... I'd like to move it down here. So I want it to be there. Because what I'm thinking is I'm going to bring the highways underneath it. So I do think my initial move with highways, which I actually can do. I forgot I unlocked highways. Um, I do think my initial move is going to be to keep them on the ground and then raise them up later. Uh, so what I want to do is go to there and go to there. So those are both going to go like that. Then they're going to extend to that point. And they're going to extend to that point. Then I want them to come back up. Just like so. And just like so. So they're both going to raise back up like that. On the other side of, uh, of all of that. And I like that it does. it is going to go underneath some buildings. It is going to go underneath the park. I really like that. Uh, then what I'm thinking is this could be the point that we raise them up. I think that's what we'll do. We'll raise them up here. And then this is what's going to go over the uh, the water. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking the look of that. I could turn those into highways immediately, which to be honest, I might do for these particular stretches of road. Uh, so we can upgrade you. Upgrade you. Uh, upgrade you and you and you and you. Then upgrade those bits. And upgrade those bits. I am going to have to make the whole thing out of the regular roads because the highways don't actually have measurements. For example, if I go to straight here, I can um, I can select this, but it doesn't actually have uh, proper measurements. So I do need to use... Wait a minute, we've unlocked 
roads with bus lanes as well. Totally forgot about that. I do need to use these because they give me those measurements. So I want to go to there. And I'd like to go to there. Now those are pretty much the same height. We are going to have some issues taking it across here. I'm not really sure what way to do this. Uh, but I'm liking that. I'm liking the look of that. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to have some issues with, um, with traffic coming through the city at the moment, but I'm curious. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely curious. I could upgrade all of these roads if I wanted to, but I would end up getting rid of the buildings on them, and that's not necessarily something I want to do. So we'll not worry too much about that at the moment, but let's go ahead and see if we can uh, make some good stuff right here. Uh, so this road is going to go from... Uh, can I select that, please? No, I'm still an upgrade, aren't I? That's me problem. Right, I want to go from there, and I basically want to go straight across. Now, is that... That is a relatively straight bridge. It does raise up a bit. But as long as it's relatively straight, I'm not too worried. What about this one? Um, different heights, but you know what? That's not... That's not as bad looking as I was uh, thinking it could be. So we'll go a little bit further here. And we'll go a little bit further here. Then somehow we need to connect it to the highway. So let's bring this down. And bring this side down as well. So we're there. Uh, do we have intersections? We do. Okay. Uh, now this rotates quite nicely. I'm going to need to bulldoze a lot of highway here. So let's pause for a moment and clear out a lot of this. Just a whole lot of that. Um, right. So this needs to go... Uh, there, I guess? No, it needs to go down there. Okay. Uh, does that snap properly, though? Is that, like, gonna... No, that's not gonna give me a straight angle at all. Oh, dear. This could be a bit of a... Bit of a problem. Uh, that looks relatively decent there. Now, that doesn't. Oh, boy. This is, um... This is proving to be slightly tricky. I think I'm just going to go with something like like that, and I'll just make it work myself. It's obviously not perfect, but it's going to have to do. Uh, yeah, it, do it doesn't line up perfectly, but we're going to we're going to just make that work. Uh, so this is going to go from there to there. That goes from there to there. Again, horrible connections, but we'll make it work later. We'll uh, we'll somehow make this work later. As for these bits here. I'm tempted to freeform it. Honestly, tempted to freeform it. Because I could probably make something look decent here. And I haven't tried freeforming roads on uh, on console yet, so... Let's try... Oh, this is so much easier, freeforming console. Uh, let's try turning it that way a little bit. Let's try turning it... Having it go sort of straight a little bit and curve it that way slightly. Then... Let's just try... Connecting. Oh, careful, careful. Zoom in a little bit. Go like that and go like. Oh, careful. Uh, no, not quite that. I kind of. I, I think maybe a bit of straight road here could be a good idea. So something like that. That kind of works, right? That's. It's not the prettiest looking road, but I'll take it. So this now needs to go like that. Then. Oh boy, this is going to be a really, really sharp turn. Actually, you know what? That's not as bad looking as I thought it would be. Okay, so I now need to change the road direction uh, of all of this. Which is going to be a total pain in the butt. But once this is done, we actually have the, the the way through the city. Which is pretty cool. This is something I... Oh, careful. Don't want to do that. This is something I definitely wanted to get done today. Is uh, getting the roads through the city changed. I... We'll be honest, I did also want to get some public transport in here, uh, so that might still be something we end up doing. We'll see how long this all takes to get finished. Uh, but let's go ahead and upgrade these roads then. So all... Oh, do I have to, like, press A on all of these? Good lord. Right. So let me just um, go along here and spam A on me controller. Oh, this might be a problem to upgrade, though. Ah, uh, it's a bit small, isn't it? Oh, no, that worked. Um... That works, that works. Oh, let, let the whole thing work, please. There we go, right. We have a proper way through the city. Look at this nonsense. Let me close that thing up in the top left there. Uh, look at this nonsense, though. It's a proper road through the city. 
and it's probably going to cause hell. Uh, because traffic has to slow down so much for these bits. But look at that. That's a beautiful sight. We've built our first highway. We've built our first highway. I'm quite okay with this. Uh, right, let's get me some public transport. So public transportation helps decrease the number of private vehicles on the roads, making room for industrial goods transportation whilst reducing noise pollution. Build public transportation infrastructure and create lines from the relevant public transport submenus. Taxis are particularly useful for tourists and citizens without access to a car. Buses and metros allow people to travel inside the city. Trains, ships, and planes carry tourists in and out of the city. Cargo trains can take goods from an industrial area to a commercial area, drastically reducing the number of trucks on the roads. Cargo harbors allow raw materials and goods to be imported and exported. Okay, well, we don't have many of that. We have taxis, uh, which, you know what? I will throw a taxi depot in here. Uh, I reckon a little taxi depot could go... Um, over there, if it would work. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Uh, but that would have been a nice spot for one. I'm thinking I'll throw a taxi depot uh, somewhere around here. Let's see. Let's let's throw one. Well, right. Let's start by getting one in the industrial area. We'll get we'll get kind of a crappy taxi depot over there. I'm gonna be spending a lot of money on these, but I'm gonna make it work. Uh, we could get a taxi depot by the high school. Definitely thinking that's maybe an option. Uh, then some uh, some taxi stands are probably not a bad idea. We can get a couple of those sort of central here. Is that going to rotate and let me do this? Um, well, that's odd that it's sort of prioritizing that side. I'd like it on this side, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's not really... Uh... Oh, well, that works. What is What does that work? Okay, let me bulldoze that one. Yeah, get rid of that. We'll get some taxi stands there. And, uh, get some taxi stands there. I guess that looks alright. Gives us a bit of taxi coverage. Uh, we do need some buses, and I do want some buses. So I'm gonna throw a nice, uh, bus depot. Well, this can go in the industrial area. The bus depot can go in the industrial area. So it's gonna go there. Now we need bus stops. Now what I'm thinking here is we're gonna need transport for people to... Uh, get from the industrial area to the residential area. So... Let's try... Doing that, I guess. Uh, so we'll do... I'm gonna try doing a stop every block. I don't know if that's a good idea. But I'm gonna try and do a stop sort of like that. Just every block-ish. Uh, then I want this to sort of come up and into the residential area. Um, it's gonna be a little tricky to do every block here. Let's have a bus stop that sort of goes... ...there? Because there are some paths that people can use to walk around there. It's not gonna go into the upper residential area, but that's probably okay. Uh, we'll have another stop down there. We'll have another stop... ...there. Then loop it around. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be efficient. It's been a little- oh, careful. Uh-oh. How do I- how do I delete a stop? How do I- oh dear. How do I, uh... Bus line. Yes. But how do I delete a stop? Drag stop to move it. No, I wanna... I wanna delete... I- I wanna- oh. Oh, did I do- I did it! Right, good. Um... So I wanna drag this stop to move it. I don't wanna create a new line though. How do I... How do I edit this line? I lit. oh, hold on, hold on. Right, I didn't want to add a stop. Right, how do I finish the line though? <laughs> I'm really confused. Uh, drag stop to move it. Right, move it there. There we go. Right, so that's perfect. Uh, and then complete the line. Right. So we have a bus line. Beautiful. We'll see if that does some good stuff. Anyone using the? Uh oh, hello, hello. We got someone using the highway. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do we have traffic backing up like crazy here? We do not. That's completely fine by me. Okay, well, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Oh my god, I've just noticed the residential demand. I've, I've just noticed that residential demand. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, we filled up a lot of the residential areas. Let's go ahead and fill up this space. Then we'll see how that goes. Uh, we could do some residential buildings around the school, but I kind of want to avoid doing that. 
I kind of definitely want to avoid doing that. Uh, the commercial areas over here are generally not filling up either, but I have to imagine that is because of the lack of residential growth recently. Uh, also, the Statue of Wealth has a lot of people around it despite not having any electricity. I mean, fair play. You don't need electricity to go to your park, but when it's dark, you probably... You're probably better off, you know, having some lights on at the park, but whatever. To each their own, I suppose. Uh, did we get the ability to unlock a new area? Yes, we did. Okay, well, I'm sort of eyeing up this space down here. Because this was our middle one, so I'm thinking we're just going to go for, like, the traditional nine, uh, around, or the, what, eight around the, uh, the middle one. Uh, so I think we'll go there. We might as well, because now we have this big, big old junction here as a part of the city, and now we can build down along the highway, which I'm kind of excited to do as well, so... We'll see how that goes. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I am quite happy with, um... I am quite happy with the progress we've made today. We've got ourselves, uh, some taxis, potentially. Uh, we've got ourselves... Some buses, which I'm very, very happy about. Look at these taxis. Look at these guys. Uh, very, very happy about the buses. Curious to see how they end up performing. Uh, and of course, we have a highway connection over here, which honestly, is probably not very good. Uh, it's probably not going to do a lot of good stuff for, uh, for us, but I like it. I do like it. We are having some job issues, but I imagine that the... Oh my god, that area filled up so quickly. Yeah, next time we're going to have to focus on zoning. So thank you kind of for watching. This has been City Skylines Xbox One Edition Part 4. Uh, just a reminder, tomorrow, Monday, the 24th of April, is a day off from posting videos for me. I don't generally post videos on Monday. If I do, they're going to be something extra. So we'll be back on Tuesday, the 25th of April, with a bit more City Skylines Xbox One Edition. So uh, stick around if you want more of that. If you like the video, like the video. And I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye <laughs>